straight into question 1.3, guys. This is a bit of a nasty question, so I'm going to work through it slowly. We're going to go through it together. Guys, if you feel the need to in your exam paper, use colors. It helps so much. I'm going to use different colors in this, otherwise I'm going to get confused. So let's take a look. It says, a rectangular box has dimensions A, B, and C. The area of the surfaces are 2 root 10, 3 root 2, and 6 root 5. Okay, as shown in the diagram below. So they're saying here, the length is A, the breadth is B, and the height is C. Okay, so the question says calculate without using a calculator. Guys, we're working with thirds, so they're testing your ability to work with these square roots without needing a calculator. Okay, so calculate the volume of the rectangular box. Immediately, guys, you should see volume is equal to length, which is A, times breadth, which was B, times height, which is C. So we need an expression for A, B, C. Okay. So if we look up here, surface area, what is area? Area is equal to the length of the shape times the breadth of the shape. Okay. So if we look at this 2 root 10, we're going to see that it comes from multiplying this length A times that length B. So we know that AB is equal to 2 root 10. Now if we look here at 6 root 5, it comes from multiplying A by C. So AC is equal to 6 root 5. And lastly, this 3 root 2 comes from BC. So let's write this down as our answer. AB, or part of our answer. AB is equal to, I think it was 2 root 10. Yeah. BC is 3 root 2. And AC is 6 root 5. Okay. So now, looking at both sides of these equations, firstly, I'm going to express these roots in terms of prime factors. So, the 2 stays on the outside, but underneath the square root, we have 2 times 5. You agree with me that 2 times 5 gives us 10. Okay, now, if we look at the second one, that stays the same. That cannot be expressed in any more primeness. It's in its most prime form. Okay. But this one here, 6 is the same as saying 3 times 2 multiplied by root 5. Okay. The reason I'm doing prime factors, guys, the moment you start doing thirds in matric or grade 11 or whenever you start thirds, immediately your teacher should start talking about prime factors because if you can prime factorize, then your thirds become a lot easier to work with. So that's why I expressed all of these things in terms of their prime factors. Okay, so if I look here, we're looking for A, B, C. So if I multiply these sides, this side here, together, I'm going to get A times B times B times C times A times C. So if you look, we've got two A's, two B's, and two C's, which if I multiply out, I'm going to get A squared, B squared, C squared. So that's kind of looking like this expression that we need to find here. So if I multiply these all together, obviously I need to apply, multiply the right hand sides together. So I'm going to get 2 times the root of 2 times 5 multiplied by 3 square root of 2 multiplied by 3 times 2 root 5. Okay, so this becomes this simply and we can start simplifying the right hand side. So if I look at my whole numbers, I've got 2 multiplied by 3, multiplied by another 3, multiplied by another 2. So again, guys, I'm going to use prime factors. So 2 times 2 is 2 squared. And 3 times 3 is 3 squared. So that's the whole numbers dealt with. If we look at our thirds, 
This, guys, is the same as saying um, root 2 times root 5. Okay, you know that. The multiplication rule of your thirds. Okay, so we're going to have from here root 2 times root 5. And then the blue, we have root 2. Because remember, we've already dealt with this coefficient of 3. So we've got root 2. And then lastly, in the orange, we've got a root 5. The reason I'm doing it this way, guys, without a calculator, you cannot use a calculator. So you need to express it this way. So carrying on with our left-hand side, this is a, b, c squared. Okay, and remember, we're looking for a, b, c. So we're getting closer. Here we have 2 squared times 3 squared. Now, if I multiply the square root of 2 times the square root of 2, I just get 2. Because root 2 squared, the square cancels out the square root. Okay. Now, if I look at square root of 5, multiplied by the square root of 5, I'm going to get just 5. Okay, so let's keep them simplifying. A, B, C, all squared is equal to, well, we've got 2 squared times 2 is 2 cubed, times 3 squared times 5. Okay, so now this is in its prime simplest form. So if I square root this side, I'm going to get A, B, C, which is equal to the volume of the box, is equal to... The square root of 2 cubed is 2 to the power of 3 over 2, okay? Times the square root of 3 squared is just 3. And the square root of 5 is 5, okay? So we're going to get 2 times 3 times the square root of 5, which is going to give me 6 square root of 5. And that is the volume of your box. Okay. So remember, guys, if they say without a calculator, prime factors, immediately prime factors, so that you can work with them without a calculator.